Hi, it's Matt. I'm over at the building. Uh, just want to do a bit of an update since I haven't done one for a while. Um, just to show you how things are progressing. It's quite dark in here this morning because the electrics are disconnected. Um, but I'll explain more as we go. The bathroom here is already complete. Um, we're just going to do something with these vents and there'll be a extract going in and replacing the two lights with spotlights and a new mirror in there um, so they'll look very different next week. Um, we added some steel beams up here um, to support the concrete. We're, we're finding it was sagging a bit but I think the sagging was actually caused by concrete being mixed above it and storing of um, the gravel. Um, not a biggie, the, the, they weren't expensive to install and long term it gives a bit of extra support especially when we're getting these earthquakes at the moment but the, as you can see here the cables going in for the uh, sorry the wiring's going in for the spotlights there'll be three on there then three another row of three um, replacing the two lights um, the normal light fittings they'll be both coming out and some extra sockets and three fans as well. There'll be three fans here um, on top of the air conditioning. The reason being is you don't always need air con, but you might just want some airflow. Um, what it will look like is getting close to this. Here's what I prepared earlier. Um, I, sp I spent yesterday going over and filling most of these holes myself, um, trying to speed the guys up a little bit. It could be nice to get this one part of the building finished. Um, our man's already been skimming the walls so these are starting to get close to nearly final finish for painting um, so I'm thinking on Monday this will either be ready for painting or be painted put a couple of external sockets in as well um, the, the main reason for, uh, reason for this is that there's going to be computer desks along there, so they're all going to be hidden anyway. But I really didn't want them channeling out all the concrete um, to, to add another couple of days' work. We're messing around with things. The doors are starting to look a bit better now. Um, they're not finished. Uh, we've just been testing the paint, see how it looks. But, um, we've actually bought a compressor to finish that off. I'll just go around the other bits of the building so we can have a look. Find key number two. Something going on over there. Sounds like somebody's lost their key. Uh, I think it's number two. Number two is a bit of a storage area at the moment. Um, our new compressor, which will be used for spraying uh, the doors and possibly the walls. Um, this is our new hand pump. So, well, I say you know, it's like um, more of a water feature than actually going to be used. Um, then these are the bits of metal that we're going to be putting the false ceiling up with. As you can see here, we've still got beams to come down. But uh, I think this will take um, about a week to get to the same state as the one next door. So, Within two weeks, these first two rooms are going to be finished. Bathrooms in, um, same same issues. The ceilings need doing, but they'll be carried forward as we do the the rest of the building. Um, we had a new crack appear. Um, this is with the earthquakes this week. Um, structurally, we're pretty solid here, um, but it's just a bit concerning. But I think we'll be fine. It's only on one side as well, and it's not all the way through. It's actually just on the plaster on the surface. As you can see on the other side, it's not cracked. Um, these are all the tiles ready to do what will be my office. All the big rooms are being taken up by agents. Um, let's go into where my office will be. Some gravel on the floor. Yeah. 
Just find the right key. Okay, this one. As you can see, this is this is all new here. Uh, tidied it up a little bit. Same with the top. Down the side still looks a bit of a tip, but it'll be like that till we start getting rid of all the excess materials. Um, there's our generator for when we have the power cuts um, so that we can run the drills or um, other equipment, our welding machine. Um, this one doesn't actually need to be propped, it's just they haven't removed it yet. Um, but as you can see here, they've started taking everything out. Um, this one also doesn't need props. They just Armin got so far with tiling here and I basically took them off doing this room and sent them back to the first one because everything's half finished. I want to start to see some of the rooms being complete. Um, so basically I kicked them out of here and put them back into room one to get the ceiling up because once the ceiling's up it can be painted by anybody and finished. This one still looks a bit dark. I might put a small window in there to add some light. Um, it's the same thing. Need some false ceiling put in and the extract fans and a couple of lights. Um, all that was taken out by the way because all the pipe work uh, for the, the sewers, blah blah blah, is all brand new. Um, this, this bit here at the moment, depending how busy we are, will either be for call center use or will become the gym. Because I'd like to put a gym in, not just for me, but for the staff. This little area here is going to be my office. Uh, it, ideally, it's mine because it sits opposite the gate, so I know who's here and who's not. Um, as you can see, the wiring for the welding machine is not the best, <laughs> um, but it works. Um, it's isolated by one of the other power boxes, actually, so it's not as bad as it does look. Well, it's not as bad as it looks, but it's still not good. Okay, what else we have a look at today? Yeah, top coat of the door going up, uh, top coat of paint going on. Yeah, we decided to buy a, gen um, a compressor this week. Oh, hang on, let's cover this. The, all this timber is going to be coming out, by the way, very soon. Um, that's where the water pump will be going. There'll be a bit of a water feature there, I think, now. I'll just lock this one up since we're not in here. I'll we'll take a look upstairs. <coughs> yeah, so you, you said this, the, the, the blue doors looked like this before. This is exactly the same as the other doors were. So you can see they look a lot, a lot better already. I'm not sure if they've locked in here or not. Yeah. And here we are upstairs. No, we haven't been hanging people. It's uh, this is where they were hanging a sieve for the sand to get all the crap out of it. You can tell it's Sunday. The amount of noise. Also, we've got the election coming up. And uh, look at the difference on this. Completely different to what it was looking like before. Had the guys on here or a week already, but as you can see, a huge difference. There'll be a couple of spotlights going in this week, one above each uh, big big window. Um, this nightmare cable here, which is driving me nuts, is going on that new post. We put a post up there. Do you see the one with the little cap on it? That all that cable will be moving away there, way to there to move this uh, monstrosity from the house because my main concern is if somebody gets an electric shock I mean locally most people don't seem that concerned about it but personally I do looks like one of the workers has been messing with a paintbrush and they can see up here it's all been boarded over now so the side of the, the side of the roof is all complete. It's going to be painted by Monday. So all this will be done. Then the scaffolding here will be removed. And the guys will basically be going up onto the roof to paint the roof. Because um, 
it's not that bad, it's just that we've got all the scaffolding here, so we want to do it now but while we still can. Um, because if we take all this scaffolding out, it's a nightmare to put it all up. As you can see, it goes through the windows. Um, so once the once we're doing the roof, I want it done. Um, people in, get it finished, and get them out. Um, then I'll be happy with that. This area here, by the way, upstairs, um, is what will become the school. Um, Still, still wondering about the, the best options for it. I really need to talk to somebody local, get an idea of what regulations are involved. Is it easier for me to actually just get um, put them in one of the rooms downstairs and keep upstairs? Um, you know, it's fire regulations, blah, blah, blah. So we'll just see how it goes. I'll just get this finished, get the, the windows out and replace with new ones. Um, the bathrooms, as you can see, they've been stripped out. We actually have the bathrooms downstairs. Can't really see in the dark here. But we, ha we have everything to finish the bathrooms, including the tiles already. Um, as you can see, there's some spare paint in there. Um, this one is actually going to be a kitchen area and not a bathroom. Um, this one is the bathroom. Because if it's going to be a school room, there'll be like boys and then girls with a small kitchenette for whatever they do, you know, in case they have cookery class or maybe they just need to wash their hands and stuff. Um, the, I put this box in this week because the electrician was supposed to be here. Somebody's bashed it already. Uh, generally I try to fit stuff before somebody breaks it, um, which is why I like with the windows, they're not here yet. Um, because when they take all this timber out, there's a good chance they'll just smash it. Not, not on purpose, but um, in a black and white movie sort of way. Uh, as you can see here, this is why we're replacing the, <laughs> the plywood. This one um, is a section that's still got to be done, but as you can see, you can see daylight through it. It's getting replaced by Hardy Flex, um, which is a lot, a lot more resilient to um, it's also termite proof. It's a bit bright here actually, I'll just turn it away. All this needs covering over as well. Um, right now, I'm just waiting for the, the roof to get done because then we just walk around in here looking for daylight and we'll plug all the holes before we do anything else. Um, but primarily, see like there, you can see the daylight coming through. All those need plugging up before we put um, a false ceiling in here. Um, we've got ventilation going in as well all around the edges, plus the lights. We bring lights in over the top and they'll be carried back down here to the box. The, when the power goes over to the post, it's a bit bright outside for the camera, but I think it's flaring up too much. But when the post, um, the electric's going down and one going to the box, what I want to do is bring one across from the post, then put a main isolator in there um, as an emergency breaker, one that shuts all the power down for the building, you know, in the event of uh, a fire or something uh, where the cables are burnt out or, you know, as an emergency stop, basically just so it's uh, a little bit safer. Um, I have to admit, it's not too hot in here today, so, which is nice. This other site over here, I mean, it's a bit of a garbage tip, which is, we're trying to find the owners of it at the moment. Uh, the camera doesn't really like this light. Camera's not working, okay, fine. It, yeah. yeah, it's just too bright outside for some reason. Um, but basically there's an empty lot that's opposite the building. Um, we've managed to ro locate the caretaker. But what we're finding is the caretakers don't really want to give you any information. The same as the, the lot behind this building. Because if we buy the building, the first thing they're thinking of is they're out over a job. Because they get paid money for doing nothing. Um, this one out here is full of garbage because the entire neighborhood seems to have dumped all their crap here um, for the last 10 years. 
probably longer. Where if we, we bought the lot, all that would be gone. I'd get it all to landfill and either change that to uh, an apartment block or uh, some sort of parking area or something that actually benefits the community rather than its own dump site. Uh, all takes time though. But we've got enough to get on with. Um, this, this building's got probably another, I don't know how many months. Yeah, day, not days, months. Because <laughs> the, I think the downstairs, the, the first room we looked at with the, the ceiling boards, that'll be finished probably by Wednesday. Because um, the painting I can do myself, if everything's going okay at the call center, I can come over for a couple of days during the week to do it myself. Um, then the next room to that will probably take another week. And then the final room across from that um, is probably another two weeks. Because I've got to tile it, finish the bathroom, um, and a few other bits and pieces. So that's we're looking about a month. Up here, the, the guys did this uh, in a week. So I think next week, they'll, they're probably going to lose a couple of days moving the scaffolding around, trying to get it in here. Because it's not an easy location to get above this uh, little canopy. Because I really want all this to be painted and rust proofed. You know, we're going to do it, we might as well do it right the first time. Um, and then, you know, because we need to get up to this plywood here. This camera is really struggling with the light. But the, you know, the plywood sat above this canopy where we need to get to, basically. So it's a bit of a pain, but it's one of those things. Um, I don't know what else to say at the moment. It's just that everything's going well. Um, once they go into plan, because everything stops start, um, but we've had no headaches, no accidents, no problems.